Sports Potatoes. Hey everyone out there, welcome back and thanks for joining me. So this is the first episode in our weekly catch-ups, where you can come along, hang out with us for a little while, see what we're up to, and maybe take away some ideas that you'd like to do around your own place. So what I'm at today is I'm building a hotbed. If you've never heard of a hotbed, what it is is basically a raised bed with composting materials on the bottom, a layer of soil on top, and the heat generated from the composting reaction heats the soil above, allowing you to grow some crops in the cooler seasons. So uh, let's get started on it. We're doing it down in our old polytunnel, which we've just recovered with, with sheeting, but we've left the front off um, just for ease of access. So to start off, I dug out a trench in this bed here, put as much soil as I could, just heaped up around the place. And we're going to start to put our materials down in the bottom all along. And fill that up with a layer, hopefully about 10 to 12 inches deep. Looking online, there seems to be a lot of different ways people recommend that you do this. Um, I'm just going to do it with whatever materials we've got around here. And I'm starting with a layer of wood shavings down the whole way along. I'm going to take some of our old spinach here. And we're going to clear out all this old chard. And some of these old corn stalks as well. I'm going to make sure we take off the roots. The green materials, break them all up. You don't want any roots or seeds in this for obvious reasons. Mm -hmm. Nice one. Nice bit of a beat there on that one. Chard beets are perfectly edible. Some people like to cook them up with caramelised butter, but other people say they have a slightly bitter taste. We'll just scatter in our green material. I know it'll probably break down faster if I chopped it all up and shredded it a bit, but I couldn't be bothered to be honest with you, so we're going to just throw it in as it is. A funny thing happened to me the other day, I had an interesting conversation with a guy I know. Um, I suppose the first interesting thing about it was that it was him who started the conversation. Very straight laced guy. and. Uh, he asked me what did I reckon about what was going on in the world, you know, what did I think was going on. And, uh, I've had to be very careful talking to people, I suppose, and I learned that the hard way over the last while, because when you talk to people about this kind of stuff, they just think you're nuts. So, uh, he said, did, did I reckon that, you know, there was something going on? And all I could say to the man was, you know, it's gone too far for it to be uh, incompetence. It's not incompetence, you know, it's intentional. And uh, The fact that he was asking questions, I suppose, was the biggest positive thing to me out of it all. But his phone rang then and he had to walk off. Couldn't continue the conversation. But it was great to hear somebody else actually asking questions about things. Anyway, to get back on track, Put in the chicken manure next. Tried to spread it round, I didn't have much. Followed by corn stalks that were chopped up into smaller pieces. A wheelbarrow load of horse manure um, and tried to spread it round as much as I could, mixing it in with the other uh, materials. Then a good layer of sawdust mixed around again. And just whatever leaves and bits and pieces I found around that I could throw in there that were dried up. I thought you guys might be interested to see this. These root systems here that are coming up through the ground. I discovered this when I was digging out that bed to make the trench. Um, these are from the beech trees that are growing out behind us there. And um, the roots are coming all the way in under the ground up to here 
and coming up into the, the, the good fertile soil in our beds. Interesting one I thought. Alright so I've got the top of the bed all dressed over again. I could probably do with a bit more soil in there but that's all I've got for the minute. So before I go ahead and water it I'm going to give it a good spray with some nettle tea that I've made up and I've thrown a couple of splashes of this into it as well which is BioGrow. I've just a couple of drops it's concentrated organic fertilizer to try and re-energize this soil. So that's this bed pretty much finished. I just need to give it a good soak with water now, get all that compost action going in there, and we can check the temperatures then daily after that and see does it heat up, how does it go. You know, I mentioned that conversation with the gentleman earlier um, because I think it's a huge positive. It's great to see people finally starting to ask questions. It's been a long and life-changing two years for a lot of us, you know, and, uh, well, we do know. So, hey, thanks for hanging out with me here today. I'll catch you in the next one.